Praise be Jesus Christ. Deacon Edward Kleingelt, in his book, The Narrow Gate, he offers a very beautiful insight on the unpardonable sin against the Holy Spirit. He writes, No one is beyond the mercy of God. To think otherwise is a denial of God and in essence blasphemy, the unpardonable sin against the Holy Spirit, because it is the sinner himself who prevents God from forgiving him. This is so true. There is no sin that God can't forgive. God's power to forgive his mercy is infinitely greater than our sins, than all the sins of the whole world. Mother Angelica kept reminding us God's mercy is greater than our sins. The power of his most precious blood to wipe away sin is infinitely more powerful than any sin we could ever commit. And so Deacon Edward is reminding us that the only thing preventing us from receiving God's mercy is us refusing to believe that God can forgive us our sins, refusing to believe that God's mercy is greater than our sins. God so desperately wants to forgive us our sins. Everybody, even the, the, the greatest sinner, and he longs for us just to let him forgive us. We need to go to him in repentance, tell him we're sorry, and he'll forgive us and make us new. And not only that, the Lord wants us to receive his mercy every day. We need to get used to receiving God's mercy. We need to get used to God just forgiving us and making us new. In Lamentations chapter 3, this is a beautiful scripture. It says, God's mercies are never spent. They are renewed each morning. Every day, brand new day, God wants to give us a fresh start. Wipe away our sins, forgive us, fill us with his mercy and make us new because his mercies are never spent. Viva Cristo Rey.